As you can see in this compilation of surveillance footage, there is often nothing subtle about it. Thieves openly stealing merchandise from target locations across the country. Along with other retailers, we've seen a significant increase in theft and organized retail crime across our business. That was Target's CEO on the company's quarterly earnings call Wednesday, discussing what they call inventory shortage or shrink. In layman's terms, theft. Year to date, incremental shortage has already reduced our gross margin by more than $400 million versus last year. And we expect it will reduce our gross margin by more than $600 million for the full year. More than half a billion dollars due to what the industry calls organized retail crime. We're not talking shoplifting. David Johnston is VP of Asset Protection at the National Retail Federation. Shoplifting is one factor in the total loss, but organized retail crime is something that is large scale thefts, structured, organized networks, you know, working through an entire network from stealing the product to fencing the product to then reselling it both online and in non-reputable locations. Target told the Wall Street Journal that retail crime incidents are up 50% from one year ago, but the National Retail Federation says retailers all over the country saw a total of more than $94 billion in loss due to theft in 2021. That's $4 billion more than the year prior. It is a very big part of why we're seeing more and more everyday items behind lock and key. It doesn't really matter what the item is. If there's a resale value to it, it's going to be taken. Last year, the heads of nearly two dozen retailers, including Target, sent a letter to Congress asking lawmakers to pass a bill that would make it harder for criminals to sell stolen goods online. Coincidentally, that bill could get a vote in the House in the next couple of weeks. On the Upper East Side, Chris Welch, Fox 5 News.